Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. I hope you're all doing well. I've been so busy recently with seeing shows. It's been crazy. I'm not complaining though because obviously it means I get to see loads of shows and I also get to talk to you guys about it. One of the shows that I finally went to see, which I can't believe I've not seen it yet. I think it's been in, in London for like four years now. So I really should have gone to see it already. I went to see the play that goes wrong finally so we've had the play that goes wrong and that's still on apologies for my neighbors uh we've had peter pan goes wrong over two christmas seasons i think and now there's the bank comedy the comedy about a bank robbery as well mischief theater mischief theater company is that what they're called they've put out loads of shows and i had just not seen any of them and now the play that goes wrong is on broadway i think it's doing a uk and ireland tour i believe it's in australia I was like, I really, really need to go and see it. I picked up a ticket on Monday. I say I picked it up, I booked it online and I checked on Seat Plan because I love Seat Plan. I always kind of check shows um, and seats before I book them on there because obviously you can see where the people have sat and what they thought of the seats, like it's honest opinions of the seats. So it's genius, I will link it in the description. So I booked, I think it was F22, which is on the end of the row. and it is slightly restricted but I it was like 22 pounds so I was willing to pay that for um even if it was a restricted view just to get to see it really so I had work during the day and then had to um come home edit some stuff get some have some dinner and then rush to the theatre and my friend had messaged me saying oh make sure you get to the theatre just a bit earlier because of stuff that happens before the show like stuff happens beforehand and I was like oh okay must do that then so i did i got well i say that i'm still a little bit not late but like not early i think i got there at quarter past 20 past and it was really funny because stuff did happen in like within the stalls before the show like the cast members were in the stalls um asking the audience members questions one guy actually uh got taken up on stage it was hilarious he had to like hold up some bits of props and do other things and it was just so funny and obviously he took it in really good humour and it's always so funny when that happens to an audience member. Before I blather on anymore I'll show you the bits of footage that I got from seeing the show. You said it right, well done. <laughs> yeah, most people get it wrong. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. The website and i think i had the the full principal cast on which is really cool they were incredible i think doing comedy like this especially a play that's been on for such a long time already well not such a long time but you know a few years to make it seem like it's their first show all over again like it's it feels fresh it doesn't feel old and it's genuinely hilarious i laughed so much to give you a bit of an idea of what it's about, it's like a drama society putting on, it's like their, their first night of their play and like the director comes on stage beforehand and says how it's his its debut, um, his debut and it's, it's just obviously all goes horribly wrong but it's so funny to watch. I think, I think anyone can go and watch that and just have a great night. It's just one of those things that if I knew someone that wasn't really in the theatre but wanted to maybe go see something, I would take them to it. I realised that because I'd not seen The Play That Goes Wrong, I'd never been to the Duchess Theatre and it's always fun 
to visit a theatre that you've not been to. Um, it's very nice and the stalls were interesting. I probably, I would probably want to sit a bit further into the middle of the stalls for this show again. Uh, saying that though, this is a really weird thing, but I feel like it's worth saying. Like the, the, the back of the seat was really angled, so it kind of felt like you were sitting like this. But thankfully, because I was on the end of the row and there was no seat in front of me, I had loads of room. So I, I could like balance it out by stretching my legs out and then being able to go back in my seat a little bit. That probably doesn't make sense, but it will, I don't think the where I was in the stalls would be like the comfiest seats because obviously they thought if it's a reclined back, people will feel more comfortable. But actually I sometimes prefer the backs being straighter and as well just in general for, for your posture because I feel like I sit up straighter. I don't know. I don't want to talk too much about the show because obviously I don't want to spoil it. I think I think for this, it's something that you want to walk into without really knowing anything because then it will make it just so much better. But honestly, I'm in awe of how they do it and the way that some of the things go horribly wrong. I was genuinely concerned that someone was going to get hurt on stage. <laughs> That's how extreme they take it. But no, it's a fantastic show and if you, like me, have just not been to see it yet, you absolutely must. And I really want to go and see the comedy about a bank robbery now as well because my friend Sean said that he thinks it's like the best one out of the ones they've put on because I think he said it's got more of like a story to it. Um, so obviously the play that goes wrong is a story but it, it's obviously like the play they're putting on going wrong. Whereas I think Sean said it's uh, like the plot of the bank robbery. It's like things that are actually going wrong within that situation. Did that make sense? I do not know. Now that I've seen play that goes wrong, I will definitely, definitely be going to see the comedy about bank robbery. Again, sorry about my neighbors stomping around. I have to deal with this all the time. I just want to say a shout out to Dan who works front of house at the Duchess Theatre as well because when I went into the theatre to pick up my tickets I did like the little clip of the foyer and I just heard someone go oh she's vlogging and I was like who is that and then I turned around and he was there so Dan it was really cool to see you and thanks for making me feel like a brat. <laughs> Let me know if you've been to see The Play That Goes Wrong or any of the other mischief comedy shows. I'd love to know your opinions on them. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. I hope you're doing really well and I'll see you very soon. Bye!